Good evening communities and welcome to the new series that we launched uh, this last Sunday. We are really looking forward to the series because it really strikes to the heart of us as Christians living in the world in which we live. Jesus said we are in the world but we are not to be of the world. And this has been a challenge that Christians have wrestled with throughout the ages, no matter what the time was. And for us who live now in 2020, we are, we are grappling with how do we live out our faith? How do we live our kingdom in a world that is so hostile to the gospel? And so what we're going to be covering over the next couple of weeks is we're going to be looking at some of the, the issues where, where worldliness has really made uh, an impact on, um, on people who live today and, and in fact the church as well. And so we're going to be looking at two things mainly. We're going to be looking at what the Bible has to say. Because as, as Christians, the Word of God is our guide. If we want to be kingdom people, we need to understand how the kingdom operates. And the kingdom operates according to God's Word. And so we're going to be studying the Scriptures. We're going to be looking at what the Bible has to say on a whole range of issues that we're going to touch on over the next couple of weeks. At the same time, we're also going to be looking at the world. What the world says and the spirit of the age so that we are able to take the truth of God's word and apply it with compassion and grace and kindness to a world that is hurting, broken and lost. And so the two kind of go together. You kind of one or the other. They, they're going to move together. We want to understand what the word has to say. We want to understand the world in which we live. Now we understand that there will, go to, there will be a number of different opinions. Um, we, we sometimes are ignorant as Christians of what the Bible has to say. We may be ignorant of the world because often we can be, be locked into our little Christian bubbles. We, we can so easily sometimes offend because we might be emotional, we might feel very strongly about something, we might miss somebody's heart. And so we want to talk around these issues. So we're going to do less videos. In fact, we're not even sure we'll do videos this week. We really want to look at some, some real life examples that probably all of us have experienced in one way or another. We want to share our experiences together. But we need to do that with mutual respect, listening and honoring of one another. Your experience is your experience. Uh, it may not be biblical, it, it may be ignorant, it, it may be emotional, but we want to, in, in, in the safe environment of community, come and have a look at what the Word of God has to say, because that is our yardstick. And that is what we submit to. That is the final authority on, on all these issues. So, what we are saying in a nutshell is this. We're going to be looking at these issues. A lot of these issues are emotional. A lot of these issues, um, uh, we wrestle with as Christians. Sometimes they know easy answers. But we want to discuss them in community with grace, dignity, respect. Listen to one another. And at the end of the day, we want to come back to the Word of God and say, what does the Word of God has to say, have to say? And how can we then take this truth and express it with grace and kindness to, to people who otherwise are, are influenced by the world and the spirit of the age so that we may be salt and light so that we may be kingdom people and again if 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 there ever is a situation where uh, it might get a little bit heated or, or they're very different opinions you just have to push pause and you can chat to mark you can chat to myself uh, we can even come into the community and, and give some some further clarity to to the issues at hand but we are looking forward to this we're really looking forward to this we're looking forward to communities being that safe place where we can discuss, where we can ask questions, where we can debate, where we can grow together to hear what the Word of God has to say and then take that into the world in which we live and the situations that we find ourselves to be light and salt. Uh, enjoy. Um, uh, Pastor Mark has made some, uh, some discussion notes for you which your community leaders will take you through um, and, uh, and let's trust God for some fruitful discussions that help us at the end of this course come out with a clearer understanding of, of how we take kingdom into the world in which we live without being influenced by that same world. God bless. Sweet. Cool.